everyone. Let me know if I have an echo. <laughs> Just grabbing something from the other side of my pouring table. Thursday. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Hi, Ann. Hi, Susan. Hi, Violetta. Hi, Patty. Thanks, Josh. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Joy. Hi, Rochelle. Shelly won't be with us tonight. She's packing to come home. All good. My hubby is puppy sitting. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Rochelle. Pray for you that you get better soon. Hi, Monica. Hi, Cecilia. So I'm opening up some stuff that I'm going to give away tonight. That's why you're crinkling. <laughs> and anybody can win because we haven't done giveaway in a long time so everybody's eligible to play oh no joy I think first for you too honey Ugh, I hate the flow it's awful yes this is a painting that I did last Thursday with the interference paints that we had left over. So, tonight's giveaways are going to be some of these paints and getting them open because I buy in bulk, you know. <laughs> I hear you, Monica. I am so tired. <laughs> puppies are keeping me on my toes. Alright, let me pull you down a little bit so you can at least see it up close. Get my arm to go over. There we go. So last week we played with turquoise, blue, violet, and what was the other one? Turquoise, blue, violet, magenta. That's awesome, Josh. I got that sneezing thing going on again. <laughs> yeah, I did get a little, just right there, Bri. Because I left it here for about an hour before I moved it over and my heater was drying over it. But I caught it before it had a chance to really crackle. I guess I have one little spot there too, but if I resin it, you won't see it. But look at the interference on here. So there is our magenta. We did that up against the... Um, color did we use? I don't remember. Was it chestnut bronze maybe? I'm really digging this part right here because they look like I painted that in to put a shadow on those cells. Hi Vic. Yeah. So I'm very happy with how this one turned out even though I did get some crazing which is my fault. We're not moving it in time. But the tiles are pretty. Echo with it. And this one did get a little bit too. 
because like I said, I left them here and that air coming across here is really warm. But it's not warm in my studio this week. It's been super cold. All right, so let me move that. So tonight we just want to kind of discuss what we have learned and maybe go over some things that you may not remember. Um, these are my giveaways tonight. You're going to get four. Uh, you'll get the black, the enchanted black. This is the ultra black base coat. It's super, super dark black. And then I'll give you a blue, a violet, and a turquoise. I don't have any magenta. It's not one that I bought. So I have three sets of these to give away tonight. So I'm just going to put them over here. And then I'm going to move these over there. So, I thought that I would just ask you guys what you want to go over. Um, we can do something. We can paint something that maybe still not getting the grasp of it. Um, and I don't have a problem with mixing paint tonight if you want to do that. You can bloom with those, Susan. Yep, just mix them up just like you're, if you're adding tube paint. Just pour it in. Make sure you shake the crap out of these if you get them, though. Because the, the mica does phase down. Ha ha, Vic. <laughs> so I did buy some hearts from Michael's. So I think they were two. Um, they had that, what was it, 40% your entire cart. So I bought two sets of these to do some blooming on for Valentine's Day. So I'll be working on those. They're not bad, Bri. They're probably, let's see, maybe half inch. Yeah, half inch. And I did order some um, eight inch rounds for those Lazy Susans for the kitchen table. So I want to do those. I want to get them resined and get those put together. So, what would you guys like to see tonight? I am giving you viewers choice tonight. Oh, and I also have um, two jars of paint to give away tonight. This is the last two jars of Christina's Laguna and Brian's Annoying Grain. Those have been discontinued, so I'm going to give away the last two jars. So, any suggestions on what you'd like me to pour tonight? We can do blooming, we can do pearl pour, we can do dirty pours, we can do anything you want, within reason. <laughs> Hi Gertrude. Hi Donna, I missed you coming in. Hi Julie. Oh, so Vic, I spent an hour cleaning up the puppy playpen. Yeah, it was bad. So my little pups had a, and I'm gonna just say it very politely, they had a shit storm today. <laughs> and my son walked through the living room and they ran to the gates and had it all over their paws because they ran over the pad and they were all over the bars of the playpen. So I had it everywhere. It was a mess. Ah, oh, Donna's got COVID. Shelly's got COVID. Shelly's going to be on her way home tomorrow, so she is feeling better. 
Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. I mean, I had to go get a pail of water, not only to wash their butts, but their feet and their bellies, and it was nasty. <laughs> but that's the fun of puppies, remember I said. There's going to be lots of poop. Alright, so, gosh, is Susan going to be the only one? Okay, I see Ann said dirty poor. They are a lot of work. I would love to have just thrown them in the, the bath, but being four weeks old, uh, they can't control their body temperatures enough yet. So they won't get their baths until before they go home. And I think I have two sold. So, Brian wants Starburst. I got two for Pearl Pour, three for Pearl Pour. We did a Dutch Pour um, two weeks ago, Monica. And I did not have very good luck with it. That canvas went into the garbage. <laughs> so here's what we could do. Hi, Kathy Mac. What if we did um, I, I don't know if you guys watch Michelle Galley. I have not tried one yet. Um, a shadow pearl pour where you put the pearl pour paint over the pearl pour um, a starburst carry is where you pull from the middle out swiping I have done one mine is of course not a technical starburst I did mine a little fancier because I don't like a regular starburst I like something more to it so how would you guys feel about a shadow pour so what we'll do tonight is we'll mix up the paint um, I'm only going to do three colors. Yeah, and I don't like them, Carrie. <laughs> I hate Starburst. <laughs> I've never done one, so I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it. Um, so for pearl pouring, you need Artist Loft. And I have to go get a jar of satin enamel. So, hang on. This will be interesting. I was in trouble because my pure white is in a cabinet with about 10 humongous canvases in front of that cabinet. Brian, you really do like pink. You just don't want to admit it. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let me, um, Ellen, are you watching? Let's see if Ellen's watching. I don't have my recipe out here. Does anybody have their 
recipe handy, they can give it to me. Do you have your recipe cards handy? I took mine in the house because I just made a bunch of new recipe packs for Etsy. Okay, Susan, thank you. He's probably sitting in the puppy playpen playing with the puppies. So I'm only going to do like a half a batch because we don't need a lot of paint for our pearl pour. So I'm pretty sure it will be 8, 8, 4, 2, 2. This way you guys will get to see how I mix it and how much water I add. It's pretty bad when my husband's not watching me, isn't it? Susan got lost. Yeah, see, that's the whole thing, too. Okay, so 16 ounces of Floetrol, 8 of Artist Loft, 4 of Satin Enamel, 2 ounces of Liquitex, pouring medium, and is it just water after that? Because I, I took the glue out of the whole recipe. I should know this by heart, but I don't do enough pearl pours to know it by heart. All right. Let's get a jug and we'll get mixed. Tonight is definitely a fly by the seat of your pants night. The cost of the retreat, Julie, is that what you're asking? Oh, uh, king rooms are 1500 and that's for five days. Three days of those will be painting. It's May 15th through the 20th for our guests. Got you, Susan. Thank you. No. So the thing is, because it's on the island, you have to fly into Virginia or drive. Um, and it's like an hour and a half from Virginia to the house. So if you're not driving, you got to rent a car. That's where the expenses come in, is renting the car and doing all that stuff. So that steers people away a little bit. It is a blast, though. Yeah. Brian's right. All right, let's do eight ounces of Floetrol. Eight point two, close enough. Save that for the colors. Okay, so then we're gonna do four ounces of Artist Loft White. just changed. <laughs> okay. We're 
going to do two, ooh, two ounces. I'm bowling over here. Two ounces of the Deco Art Satin Enamels. This is the pure white. This is what will give you your pearls. It's expensive when you have to fly in, rent a car, and, um, and meals, you know. I do provide breakfast foods, and sometimes we have stuff there for lunches, but dinners, everybody's kind of on their own. There's so much good food on the island. Most people like to go out to eat. Okay. So we'll get our two ounces of satin enamel in there. Correctly. So we weren't planning to do a New Year's Eve marathon this year because of the puppies. So Brian's going to do a New Year's Eve. Well, he's thinking about it. I don't know if he's definite. And when he's done, if I'm not too tired, I'm going to set up a puppy cam. No talking, no nothing, just watch puppies. <laughs> Somebody might find joy in that. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So then I need one ounce of Liquitex pouring medium. This is your binder. And that's all it is. So I did a half a batch. So we're going to do a small canvas. So they get their, like, their second wind at about midnight. And they want to play. So I'm the one that's up with them usually until uh, 1.30. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add some water. We want to get this as runny as we can get it without breaking the bind. doing a shadow pour, a shadow pearl pour, probably. I've never done one, so I thought, why not? It's last night of Tutorial Thursday. Let everybody pick what we do. So you can see the trace. I don't want to see that, so I have to keep adding water. So let's do another, uh, let's try a half. Kind of right. It has a name. It's a shadow pearl part. Yes, Julie, I just cut it in half. All right, we're just about there, so we're going to go ahead and add that other half an ounce. And that should bring us two ounces of water. I can't. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat tonight. All right, so when you're checking with your stick, you want to see if you can leave a divot in the paint and no trace. So that trace is gone in less than a second. But you're also getting a divot, and if you watch your stick, when it's done running, it should bounce. And there's your bounce. It just bounces right off the last of it. Okay, 
so that's good. Now, colors. Ooh. Let's do, let's do our new beach retreat. I think this will be really pretty in a shadow pearl pour. But I want to do that with moody blue. Because I want a dark contrast for that. And then I'll let you guys pick out another color. Brian's saying purple. So here's what we have. Hope you feel better, cat. Everybody's sick. Susan's saying raspberry. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? So like a purple raspberry. The only teal that I have would be the ocean teal. So it's very similar to this in the family of blue green so that's just gonna wash each other out oh no I hope he's okay all right so let's go with these three because I think these will work correct okay so we need three cups So I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to half it because we're only doing one small painting. So normally you would do one ounce of color and a half an ounce of Floetrol and a squirt of Liquitex pouring medium and then you'll add your water. So let's half that, this will be fun. Let's start with Moody Blue. These are what my 8 ounce jars are like when you order them from Etsy. Okay, so half an ounce. Because I know we're not going to need a lot. Really? side. Let's do purple raspberry. We'll do them all at the same time. Purple raspberry is pretty. When it's dry, it's a little darker. This is transparent though. So my goal for next year, well, yeah, for next year is to put a dot of color on the jars from Etsy. So you can see what it looks like dry. I was going to do um, a transparency thing, but what I can do is dot smear over a black line and you'll be able to tell if it's transparent or not. Oh geez. Okay. Beach Retreat 2022. Such a pretty color. not as pretty as the one that's going to be this year, next year. I already have it in my head what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there's our half ounce. Brian, that's not nice. She didn't trip him much. <laughs> okay. Let me clear that out. Draw. This is going to be fun. <laughs> it's not even 
registering yet. There we go. All right, that'll do it. And then we'll do just a little squirt of Liquitex pouring medium just for our binder. Yes, they're very creamy. Um, they're very highly pigmented, so they don't break down really fast. Not like a craft paint does. I have a couple that are on the looser side, only because of my um, ingredients, but they still hold the pigment really well. All right, we're gonna add water to these yet, but I wanna get the uh, Floetrol in there. Make me brave and poor. Oh, see, that was not good. That gave me a half an ounce. My scale's a little slow. Hello. <laughs> Wakey, wakey. Well, when in doubt, just pour it in. It's not going to matter anyway. I think my battery's going to go on my scale. Good enough. The rest is going to be water, so it's not even registering, so I'm assuming my batteries are going on my scale. You know, I have like five scales. It does suck tonight, Brian. <laughs> I bought another new one. It's a big, wide platform, but it doesn't—it doesn't weigh correctly. I put stuff on it to weigh it, and then I come out here to double check it, and it's way off. It's not calibrated at all. Someday I'll get a really good scale that works correctly. We gotta make sure we put new batteries in that before. Tuesday night so that the puppies get weighed correctly. <laughs> yeah, I think it needs a new battery. Those puppies wore that battery out. <laughs> the one that I used for um, mixing paints in the house, I think I changed the batteries in that at least twice while I'm mixing paints because I leave it on for so long. You know, it's like a four-day, five-day process, so. All right, let's see where we're at with this one. Oh, it's still too thick. It's amazing how much water you actually use to break these down. So Brian, I'm mailing your box tomorrow. I have it all packed, ready to go, label printed. Victoria's box is going out tomorrow. I'm such a slacker this year. Those puppies have kept me busy, busy. just about there. I'm just going to give it just a drop. Right, so that should be good. Yep. Okay, let's do these. Is it boring watching me mix paint?
Are you making me something, Bri? I made you something. because I don't trust myself. Yeah, you have to be super thin on these curl pores. It's, it comes to the point where you're like, I don't know if you guys watch Sarah Taylor, but when she picks that stick up in her jar and she shows you how thin they are, they're, they're like water. I try not to go that thin but I still get pearls. Um, it scares me because your base will just eat it all up. But she does use a lot of um, high quality paints like Charvin and um, Golden products. So she's keeping the pigment there on top. That's true, Evelyn. We could be watching paint dry. If we were watching it dry here, we'd watch it crack. I know Brian makes a big deal out when he's got to go mix paint. Well, I guess I'll go mix some paint. <laughs> Brian, mix it in the jugs like this, and then you always have it mixed. You just got to stir it and use it. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I can feel it. Yep, we're good. So that's the other thing I like to teach my people at the retreat. I won't be teaching this year, but I have every other year. <clears throat> when you're mixing these thin paints, close your eyes as you go. When you get to a certain point and you lift that stick, you can feel if you broke the binder too far. You'll still feel the creaminess, but you won't feel the thickness of how it was before you added the water. You'll know if you went too far. Just go and pick and up your stick. If you go too far, add more paint. All right, let's check our pearl pour paint again. I'm hoping we're thin enough. I'm just gonna give it another shot because it's been sitting. Uh, these containers hold. Four, is it 32 ounces, I think? Let me look. 32 ounces. So I get these two for, two pack at uh, Dollar Tree, but they haven't had them in a while since COVID. They may have gotten some more back in, but I love them. I have dozens and dozens of them. Only because I mix all my colors up usually. All right, let me grab a canvas and we'll play. Let's see, what do I want? Let's do a round, we've never done a round. I should say I've never, I don't think I've ever done a round pull pour. Yeah, and they clean up really easy, yeah. Easy to wash. The lids are kind of tough, but they wash up really easy. So before I do anything with my canvas, I always tape it off. Rounds are not fun to tape, but once you've done a few, you're good to go. They're pretty easy. And this is not the tape that I like for these. I like the uh, concrete stucco tape from Scotch for the rounds, so it gets sticky, sticky on there. Some people use electrical tape. 
Um, I haven't used that on canvas. I have used it on wood and on vinyl albums because I go through with my heat gun to get the uh, resin off. I don't like how electrical tape melts. That's, that's awesome, Princess. Um, check out my playlist. We have a whole year's worth of tutorials in my playlist. Today's our last one. Um, I'm still going to do one here and there. Probably like a video type tutorial. So you'll have it for reference. Uh, it'll be in the tutorial playlist as well. I want to do some step-by-step -step stuff. So in order for me to do that, we really need a video. I'm going to shut my heater off. Because I am getting very warm. And I don't have a tank top on under my sweatshirt. So I can't take my sweatshirt off. <laughs> well, I could, but I won't. <laughs> It's very warm in here with the lights on. All right. I'm going to add some push pins and then we're going to spray it real quick. What? To shut my heater off, Bri? <laughs> it is loud. I'm sorry. But sometimes I come out here in the winter and it's only like 60 degrees out here. And I'm trying to cure stuff, so I have to leave it on usually. I can hear a puppy barking. So Susan isn't on Facebook, so I have to tell her this story. So last night... I had, I wanted to get in the puppy play, pay plan, pay, play pen and play with them. So I opened it up just a little bit to get in there. And it was like I opened the gates of hell. The three of them come running. Broke through my barrier. And ran into the other three dogs that were playing in the living room. My three adult dogs. It was like total chaos. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, how am I going to get those three puppies back in here at one time? Because if you get one, by the time you go to get the other one, the other one's escaped again. So Ellie is nudging them to me with her nose, like, get control of your kids, Mom. <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. It was fun was a good laugh. Ellen and I laughed a lot about that. It was funny. There we go. All right, so let me get some gloves on and we are ready to go. Yep, nice and tight now. So this is a 14 inch canvas from Artist Loft from Michaels. I'm not a breeder. No, nope. I just bred my Westie because I wanted to have Westie puppies just to have my girl experience it and offer a nice quality dog to someone, you know, if they wanted to purchase a dog other than from a breeder. So breeders don't have that personal touch sometimes. I'm all about hands-on. So... She did not do well. She didn't accept her puppies at all. So we had to hand stimulate. Thank God we did get her to nurse them though. But we had to hand stimulate the puppies for two and a half weeks. That was not fun either. But we had them checked by the vet. Went in and had a fecal done and you know, weight check. Just an overall check on them, and they were doing really well. So I told us keep doing what we're doing, and 
and we did. And then last week, I said, let's start them on some mush and get them eating now that they were starting to poo on their own. Well, don't you know it, as soon as we start weaning, Ellie decides that she's just going to jump in the box and feed them on, on her own. So we were like, where were you three weeks ago? <laughs> Yeah, we did a good job raising those puppies. I know we did. They are happy and healthy and so playful, and they love human touch, which is very important. So, all right. So with the shadow pour, I think I want to concentrate my darker color in the middle because we're going to blow this with a hair dryer. So let's... We can do um, a little bit here and there like this. I think we should branch off down here too. Hmm, does that enough color? I gotta think about it. <laughs> Alright, let's do a little bit more color because I'm going to be pouring white over this. Oops, and that's okay because it's not going to matter. All right, I think I'm going to do something like this. Something, something. And then we're going to put some teal down the middle. And then I'm also going to do the sides because it's going to get poured off, poured off a little bit before we hit it with the hair dryer. All right, let's try that. I think we have enough color. Let me edit with the torch real quick. Okay. So, I don't think I want to tilt this first. Because if I tilt it, hmm, do I want to tilt it first? I think I do. Let's tilt it a little bit. Let's open it up before I put that other paint over top. Because that's a lot of paint. I don't remember this part, but we're going to try it this way. Okay. Let me bring that all the way that way. Cool colors together. Almost needs a gold, but I'm not going to put any metallics in there. Metallics don't pearl real well. Oops, I see a clumpy. Where did that come from? Huh. That's weird. I'm glad I'm not seeing pearls yet because I want to get this on top. So I'm just going to pour this out just like that. And now we're going to really do a lot of tilting. Hopefully all our color didn't come off. I'm gonna keep it evenly tilted so I'm not pouring everything off one side. I see something floating in there. I'll get it with my tweezers. It's not really gonna matter. Oops, my screen is blurry. I'm sorry. That's what happens when the white paint comes out. But I will give you something to focus on here in a minute. Bear with me. Get my hands wiped off. Come 
Come on. Come with me. This is what we do to focus our camera. See yourself. Because <laughs> my camera can be so vain. Boy, it's being stubborn. Hang on, let me wipe my hands. something to focus on. Hopefully it won't do that again. I think we're good. All right, so I have my little hair dryer here. This is my little Berta from Amazon. They don't have this one anymore, but they have a black one that's just like it. And I have these in my Amazon shop. I put the cool button down permanently. So I'm going to blow on low because this is a small canvas. And all we're going to do is puddle some paint, like move some paint around and see what we've got underneath there. On high. like you have to go find it. <laughs> should be purling because that paint is super thin. Yeah, it's like digging for gold for sure. Let me see if I go in with my airbrush. I can move some more color around. There's not a lot of paint there. It should purl. What the heck? Like I said, I've never done one of these before, so I'm going to have to go study Michelle's shadow pours. So Michelle Galley does these if you're just joining us. Um, she's definitely the one to watch. Her recipe is probably much different than mine, too. I know a lot of them use house paint. I'm not a fan of the house paint for pearl pours because I don't like that separated crazy look over the dark colors. Uh, the Satin Enamels doesn't do that. 
All right, let me tilt just a little bit. See if I get the ones off the edges. So see, there's nothing moving in the middle at all. So all the paint that I have is on the edges. I'm like, I can see the texture of the canvas. So this is gonna dry like super fast. But you know, we could always embellish this if it doesn't do anything. We can do that on a video. We could do it on a Monday night. Put a stencil over it or something. It is a pretty blowout. We totally lost the uh, Beach Retreat color. I mean, it's barely there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like barely in there. But I'm not minding that. I mean, that's something we can work with as a base. Oh no, Cecilia. It's that dry heat up there, right? Just touching up a few spots where bummer we didn't get any pearls <laughs> so not everything works out the first time just pushing some of that darker in there just to fill up that hole I'll live with that. Maybe a puddle with colors and then blow. Um, for a shadow pour? A shadow pearl pour? I don't know. But we don't, I don't know what this might do. This may change as it sits. Not sure. But I have enough. What do I got left? Let me move this one and it let's let me grab some tiny canvases and let's try doing it a little bit different. We'll use up that paint. I'll put that on. Oh, I can't put on drying rack yet. Wait, I gotta move a painting. I had the big guy over there from Monday night. I don't want to get paint on it. So this will be dry probably before I get up in the morning. Hi Donna. Okay, let me move it. I think we can definitely work with this with uh, some embellishing for sure. Regardless if we got pearls or not, but it is very ethereal and I love it. I love stuff that's like this. I think we have enough to do at least one. I'll grab two. <clears throat> These are already prepped because I have them for the retreat. Let's put a little 
little bit of pearl pour there. Maybe my pearl's not thick enough or thin enough, but it should be. Thought I saw some chunky stuff. I did. See? I'm not blind. <laughs> Wiggly I am, but I'm not blind. I don't have a ton of color left, but we have a little bit. Enough to play. Um, Ellen's with the puppies. He doesn't see them all day, so I'm sure he's in the pen with them. <laughs> if I know him well enough. But my goal is to get Alan back to painting with us since we're going to be on Tuesday nights instead of Monday nights. At least that's the plan. All right, just for giggles, <laughs> let me run a little strand over this. And I'm just going to do a plain pearl pour because I want to see if we're going to get pearls. I knew I shouldn't have used those cups yet. Because it may be my paint. We'll find out. Maybe my white's too thick. You wouldn't think so. I put a ton of water in there. Yep, I saw you, Cup, you dead soldier. Mmm. Could be the pearl paint, guys. I'm not seeing any pearls, and I'm stretching. Alright, let me get this stretched back to the middle. I'm going to water that pearl paint down just a little bit more. I never know who's dinging me. All right. And let's pour that over top of that. Experiment night, isn't it? <laughs> See, it's not even purling on the corners. Sheesh. And we did the right recipe. Alright, let's pour this off. same issue we did with the other one. Mm -hmm. I think I might have, it may be the artist loft because that's new paint that I just bought. Maybe it's not behaving for pearl pours. Okay, let's try it.
not working at all. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, the new artist lap is iffy. I know a lot of people are having problems with it. They said they thought they rectified the problem and all they did was made it worse. Take what you get and you try to work with it, that's all. But I'm going to show you something. You can tell when something's not right when you get this. And this is what I talk about with the house paint. Let go cup. Right? Let me see if I can get it in the camera. See that? Where your color flocculates? That's called flocculation. That's breaking of the binder of the paint. I thinned that down so much to get it to work that it made my paint flocculate, made my pigment flocculate, which means I broke the binder. So I know I'm not going to get any pearls on this now, but we can use that as a background for another painting. just want to push some of this out. So I'm going to play around with some pearl mix tomorrow. With my, I'm going to play with my recipe and make sure that it's working when I do a full batch because I may have my my scale might have been off remember we are having problems with the scale so we may have added too much of the um, artist laugh flow or too much of the flow trial and not enough of the per the satin enamel so it could be the, because of the scale issue too but I'm not, I'm not saying it's not user error. Because <laughs> I may have mixed it wrong. Yeah, I normally do a full batch. But today I did a half batch. Because I didn't want to be stuck with a lot of paint left over. So this paint, I'll, I will scrape this up and throw it in there. And then uh, we'll use that for a... Uh, flow extender because it's going to go right off the canvas anyway let me move this so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to pick this up and put it right in that jug and add some more satin enamel to it and we can use that for either more pearl pouring or Skip the satin enamel and use it as look center. Okay. So we used up most of the colors, so let me get my scooper here. So, and any questions on that, guys? Because, you know, it was a fail, so I really can't give you good answers. I can tell you what could have went wrong, but um, not a definite. So I have a couple colors in mind, Susan, because I, I'm discontinuing uh, Mellow Yellow as well from our Coastal Collection. I'm going by sales from last year of what colors are going to get cut because I'd rather put new colors in. So definitely Mellow Yellow is going to go, though. I think I had... Um, 83 sales of mellow yellow that's not good at all <laughs> compared to um, when I'm selling Deep Lagoon and Shelly's Masquerade you know those are in the high hundreds high close to a thousand so yeah so that's how I determine what colors are getting cut I don't want to take up the space of, of possible beautiful color and I can't go more than probably 52 colors because then I'm going to run out of space. So, so stick around, guys. We're going to do some giveaways. I'm all by myself tonight, so this is going to be fun. I should have put slow mode on. 
Yeah, so I'll put it in the clearance section of the Etsy shop probably on the 1st of January. Uh, Christina's Laguna and Brian's Annoying Green are already this, the two last jars that I have. I've already divvied that up between some people and sent Brian the big FIFO bottle full of Brian's Annoying Green since it was his color. <laughs> He'll have lots of that to play with. So don't push that color, Brian. Because <laughs> we had no more. So we need to come out with another green that will sell. And possibly um, a, another yellow. Oh, he brought a baby out, guys. Who do you have, Poppy? You guys want to see Poppy? My hands are sweaty. Hi, Miss Papalop. Papalopolis. My little poppy purple Don't show poppy. Her butt because it's Is dirty. your butt all dirty? Is your butt I just washed you today. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't squirmy wormy. Say hello, all you beautiful people. Say hello, all you be Oh, really? Are you gonna cry? Are you I gonna heard you cry? Say you were all by yourself. I'm all by myself. I am. <laughs> Hello, baby girl. All right, go back to daddy. She's, Come on. she's digging the nails, and I gotta cut those tomorrow. Let me clean your butt. <laughs> That's nice, Alan. <laughs> she's adorable. She is. Let's say, she's kind of a loner. She is very cuddly, lovable, cuddly. Um, Lily, on the other hand, is the whining terror. She will go after Twig and bite his pee-pee, and they fight terrible. And Twig is the boss, like he pushed everybody around to get to the food, and yeah. So those other two are very boisterous, and she's just very laid back and mellow. Yeah, she's very sweet. I do love her. <laughs> you know how I said I love Twig, but I really do like her because she's so laid back. I do not get to keep one. But I'm hoping that I can't sell one. <laughs> you know. Oh, I don't have a buyer for this one. I guess I'm going to have to keep her. Oh, cool. Yes, I do have bubblegum pink. It's very pretty, actually. All right, let me get some paper so I can pull some numbers. So I'm going to do three giveaways. You can only win once tonight. So remember that. So once you win once, that's it for the night. I know, Ann. It's going to be really hard. I already told Alan I'm super depressed just thinking about it. And um, I ordered a necklace that has three little dog bones on it with a December, sorry, November birthstone, and it has their names. So it has three little bonies. One will say Twig, one will say Poppy, and one will say Lily. So I can wear that necklace. Because I have to have something to remind me of them. <laughs> yeah, I had birds too. We had parakeets for a long time. And I used to breed them. And they were hand fed and on my shoulders. And not as hard as the puppies though. Yes, I will be paying the shipping inside the USA. If you live outside of the US, you can pay the shipping. Um, to Canada or wherever you live, but it'll be a number between between 1 and 50 If everybody's ready, we'll go on your mark get set go Stop I have a winner I have a winner my number was 22 and Evelyn is my winner. Evelyn Warner. 
Can you please email me, Evelyn, your mailing address? <clears throat> Just make sure I have it. Okay. There's one winner. Let me pull another number or put, pick another number. Um, stop, please. Everybody stopped? Okay. Okay, so I have another number on your mark. Are you ready, guys? On your mark, get set, go. Stop, I have a winner. Stop. So my number is six and I see Julie, Julie Ashton. Number six first. Don't forget to email me, guys. good <clears throat> okay last number I'm trying to pick one here hold on all right I think I got it okay There's my last number picked. Are you guys ready? On your mark, get set, go. My gosh, you guys, I'm going, going back and looking because I went so fast there for a minute. I have a winner. Please stop. Let me double check, make sure no one was before this person. Okay. I almost missed your, your uh, number there, Brian. Because your name is so long. But I'm double checking before you. So it looks like Mr. Brian is the winner with number 25. Figures, I mailed your mail in your box already sealed. <laughs> number 25 was the number. Oops, I went flying. So Brian is my winner. And our last prize for the night. The last two jars. <laughs> I feel like I should sign them or something. <laughs> Let me grab a number for those. Now remember, Brian, you can't guess again. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what's easy for me to catch on the screen with my eyes. <laughs> so you'll get both jars on this one. Okay, are you ready, guys? <laughs> All right, on your mark, get set, go.
You type it in, Donna. I have a winner. We have Miss Pouring Star. As far as I can see, she was the first one to guess number 33. Make sure you email me your mailing address. So that's it for the giveaways tonight, guys. Today was our last tutorial Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me for this year. We're going to wrap it up tonight, and this is the end of the tutorials. Now, I did say something about channel memberships last month. I'm going to take the month of January to think about it because, one, I have the puppies. So I can't commit myself to doing a private live for members at this time. It's just too many, too many nights of painting. So after the 20th of January, I'll make up my mind what I'm going to do. Uh, every Tuesday night, I'm still going to be kind of teaching things, and we're going to have fun pouring, doing our normal routine that we normally do on Monday nights, but we're switching to Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Saturdays will still be a premiere at 7 p.m., and on Thursdays, I'm hoping to just throw video up for entertainment purposes. It'll be something just set to music, no premiere no chat screen or anything, just to have fun. So, I love you all. Um, if you did donate to the channel anytime from October 1st through December 31st, um, you will be entered in my drawing for the sponsored giveaway. We are doing that January 1st at 7 p.m. right here on my channel. Um, it's going to be a quick giveaway. I'm going to draw names and give out the prizes for those that have donated to the channel, gave me a tip, sent me something from Amazon. Um, there's just various ways that people have helped me out, and I'm going to I do my give back every quarter. So I have some gorgeous prizes I've already picked out, and that's going to be done 7 p.m. on January 1st. So if you did donate, make sure you come. Because I may do prize choices again. If you're here, you can pick what you want. So that'll be fun. Thank you, Princess, for joining us tonight. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Hello, Donna. I did miss you. And I see Lori there, too. <laughs> um, if you think of anything you want to see on the channel... Let me know. We can do it on a Monday night. Or, I'm sorry, a Tuesday night. Boy, that's going to be tough to change that, isn't it? Mondays are going to be boring, aren't they? I'm really hoping that um, Brian and Shelly and Darnell may pop up some premieres on Monday nights in that place. Like at 8 or 9. Um, I'm not done sharing, guys. I still will give you free tutorials. Just not every week. It'll just be a uh, flying by the seat of the pants thing. Uh, channel memberships will be um, either private videos with step-by-step -step instructions or a private live. We'll take a poll, see what everybody wants to do, what time to do it. But I'm not going to make that decision until after the puppies are gone. So, yeah. Yes, Brian is going live New Year's Eve at 8 p.m., correct, Brian? And then I may follow with a puppy cam. I'm just not gonna. You're, I'm just gonna set up the camera and let you guys watch puppies if you want to pop in and see them, because they do get pretty rowdy. It's actually kind of fun to watch. But I just we can't paint. There's just no way. <laughs> Too many puppies running around. All right, guys. I love you all. I will see you um, Saturday at my premiere and. If I don't get a premiere up, it's not because I don't have anything to put up. It's because of time scheduling and me not being able to be there for the premiere. So, if I don't do that, I will see you guys on Tuesday night. Um, I'll see you at Brian's if you're at Brian's for New Year's Eve. And um, take care. Have yourselves a safe and happy holiday. New Year. 
and I'll see you soon. Love you all. Bye now.